Okay, so let's have a look at installing Tomcat on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, first off, what is Tomcat? Tomcat's a web slash application server uh, written in Java. Uh, it's great for just being able to connect to uh, maybe it's an on-premise database or uh, a database in the cloud. So it's very good for the, if you're comfortable with Java programming language. There's plenty of tutorials on doing this on AWS EC2. Uh, I myself followed one of those tutorials and the link is in the description. Uh, so I'm just going to show how to do it on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Um, so OCI is getting really popular at the moment just for the, the workloads that it's, that it's able to, to manage and maintain. So I'm just going to go through some installing Tomcat on OCI, just a generic uh, 2.1 instance. Uh, so one core with 15 gigs of memory. Um, so my compute instance is launched, so I'll just fast forward a small bit. I'm going to install Tomcat, so first off I'm just going to SSH into the instance, uh, just while I wait, please bear with me while I input the IP. Okay, so hopefully I'm in now, yeah, great. Uh, so I'm in, the, in my instance, just going to make the screens half and half here, just so you'll be able to see. First thing I always do, switch to the root user and hit yum update. Best practice, just make sure that you have all the latest uh, Linux packages, yum packages. Uh, it's, a, it's just best practice, you know, because oftentimes with security, it's sometimes there's a missed patch, something missing. Um, so I just fast forwarded there, uh, but it's something that I always do in every one of my tutorials. Uh, so first things first uh, is install Java. So I will put up one of the Java SE licensing uh, pages here to the left now and shortly, but Java, you need Java to install Tomcat. So I'm just going to be running Java 8. Um, so it's just a Java uh, SE version. Uh, but once again, you can use the OpenJDK or Oracle JDK. So in that download, I just ran the OpenJDK. Uh, so the OpenJDK has a Java runtime environment and the Java development kit. So if you're a developer, it's, you can stick with the OpenJDK. But if you're going to be building applications for the enterprise, you should look at uh, an SE license because uh, older versions of Java will no longer be receiving public security patches. Um, so that's just something to make note of while uh, Java is downloading here. Okay, great. So it's done now. Okay, it's so just going to switch directory and I'm going to get the Apache Linux tar file, just the, the zip file for uh, Linux. So I'm just going to hit we get, hopefully have we get installed. So it should work. Yeah, great. Uh, so that's we get installed. So I have the zip file. I'm going to unzip it now. So tar xv. Oh, apologies, tar xv zf uh, to unzip the the file. Okay, great. So just going to clear the screen here to make it more easily readable. Uh, navigate to the Apache and into your bin folder is where most of the executable files are. Uh, two most important files here from experience is the startup.sh and shutdown.sh. So you're going to have to make these two files executable uh, and give yourself permissions to execute them. So just type the following command, shutdown.sh and also startup.sh. One thing that you could do is make a, a system path to these two files instead of having to come in here uh, every time to start up Tomcat. Uh, just with this command that I have here, um, so you don't have to navigate the whole way into the folder. Um, so I'm just going to go to get the public IP and navigate to port 8080. Port 8080 is the, the, the default uh, port that Tomcat runs on. Um, so you can see here, so let me just put in 8080 just to see. So it should be up and running. One important thing to know is is my security list. So I'm just going to check my security list to see if I am accepting uh, TCP traffic on port 8080. Um, I have opened up everything here. It's bad practice, but just for the purposes of the video, just to show you. So everything should be working. Um, and a, an important point to make is in AWS, AWS have network access control lists and also security lists. Uh, so, so the security list automatically open up ports on the instance. So in, in OCI, we leave it up to the system administrator to open up ports like what I'm doing here at the moment. So I'm just going to open up port 8080 to TCP traffic. So it's just an architectural way that Oracle opted to do it. So I'm just going to make this permanent. <laughs> I always had a problem with uh, my spelling of the word permanent, but I got it right this time. 
uh, so firewall reload i was just going to type now and i'm going to check on the the ip it should be open now so just let me check uh, hopefully great it's up so looking at server status manager app host manager uh, these are tabs that i'm that that we can navigate to but we're not going to be authorized at the moment so let me just click on it here okay service status so i'm not authorized authorized 403 so you can see in uh in this github tutorial that we have to add the appropriate users uh so I'll just let, let me just make this uh fully visible let me just go back here yeah so we have to add the manager user or whatever users you want really um, ju just to be able to navigate to these to these tabs on the tomcat server in one of these tabs is where you would deploy your your wire files for your java servlets and containers or if you wanted to connect to a database this in these tabs is where you would configure the connection so let me just go back out of that folder and one second now so i'm just going to check check where i am Okay, so just going to go back into into the Apache folder. I have to t find two files. I have to comment out the section of one file, and then I also have to add users to the user users.xml file. So I'm just going. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at one of my other screens here to get the correct path. Uh, Context.xml. Yeah. So I have to comment out some of this file, uh, and in the in the link below this video. You will see on the GitHub, the GitHub tutorial, what you have to comment out. So I'm just going to use Vim here to comment that out. Uh, my Vim skills wouldn't be the best, uh, so just let me go down here for one second. Okay, so just going to make it a bit more easier to read. Okay, so I have uh, my insert. So I'm just going to comment out the this section, the class name section. Uh, j j just uh, just comment that out so we will be able to access it with the users that we're about to create and um, so just right quit that yeah so save it just just to make sure it's saved so just going to navigate back out of that into the uh, the apache folder into the config files so you can see all the different files here the one that i'm most interested in is my tomcat users.xml uh, so I do. So I just I have a habit of just hitting uh, uh, permissions make make it executable. Is uh, but it will also give me full permissions on that file. Uh, so it's just one of my habits. So just going to hit, uh, hit vi tomcat users.xml just to edit that file. So I'm going to navigate back. So navigate back to the GitHub and just going to copy this uh, just to make it easy. Um, so there's a couple of different roles going to be defined here and passwords so i'm just going to insert this down below just make sure make sure you don't put it in any of the comment sections because it's quite an easy thing to do and um, you won't be able to navigate into those tabs then if you do that uh, so just exit out of your insert mode in vim uh, to 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 save this give me one second now i just want to make it a bit more easier to read Yeah, so just going to in make sure I have proper indentation. It doesn't matter, but just uh, make it uh, neat and tidy. So right quit that. So once again, as I said, it would be easier just to have a system link here and link it with the, the into my bin folder and the two executables tomcat uh, tomcat start .sh and tomcat down .sh or shutdown .sh. Sorry. So I'm just going to shut it down. So those settings will be uh, will be generated the next time that it starts up. So I'm just going to start it up now. So my Tomcat is started, and as you remembered in the IP tables, I have port eighty eighty open already. So I'm just going to use one of these users. So admin and uh, what's my password? Password admin as well. So I'm going to navigate back to uh, Tomcat. So I hope you can see this here now. So manager app I should be able to get in here. So it was admin admin, and this is where hopefully I can get in. This is where you will see the status of your Apache. So I'm in now. This and you can deploy some of your wire files in here, and your Java servlets and containers. 
Uh, I don't think I'll be allowed into the host manager. Yes, that's a different role, uh, but I can check out the server status. So everything here, just a bird's eye view of what's happening, uh, quite useful. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to navigate back to the, the, the compute instance itself. Uh, just a neat little feature that you can do is you can save this as a custom image. So really, really good. Just going to say, going to save it so I can reuse it any time that I want. And in one of the one of the following videos, I will actually you can see I'm in the Frankfurt region here. I will export that image to the London region, or you can bring it to Toronto or any of the US regions. Uh, so it, it will take a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or so for that for that image to save. But in the following video, I will ex export it to London and then launch a new instance from there. So my server has just gone down at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, there's going to be plenty more like this. Um, even if you have any suggestions, just feel free to send them on. I uh, just want to raise more awareness of Oracle Cloud and of what you can do with it. Yeah, so change image source. So I have, this is where your custom image will be saved. So I, I've done, I'll do this in the next tutorial. So thank you very much. And just to finish off here, we're just going through one of the Apache Tomcat pages. Um, just a typical use case, if you're uh, Java, if familiar with the Java language, you can deploy Java servlets and containers um, on the Tomcat and typically connected to a database. Uh, it doesn't have to be Oracle, uh, any database really with uh, JDBC, uh, TIN driver connection capability, and everything is usually accessible through port 8080. And we saw our Catalina container in our files. Um, so just thanks very much for listening, and I hope that you can get this up and running.